Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. We're going to jump in and do some challenges, try get some done because yeah, I've been saying that I've been doing for a while and I've kind of been leaving them in the background so really I should try them out and of course let's just do ultra hard, let's just get it out the way with ultra hard. It's not a challenge that has a great unlock but it's one of those ones that it kind of, you kind of need to get it out of the way. Now I will say ultra hard with fiend folio is gonna be a fucking nightmare <laughs> um so i will see how this goes um it's gonna be re relatively difficult for those of you that don't know what ultra hard is we have to beat the game uh to mega satan we cannot heal we have all curses enabled and every boss is the blur if, if i'm remembering all of that correctly also i think every enemy is a champion I can't remember that part. I'll be honest, but yeah, that's it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be really difficult. Um, I think with Fiend Folio enabled, it might be a little impossible to start with. Um, we shall see. Uh, basically, we need some really good items to make this work. Uh, one that I would absolutely love to see. I, I should really take you guys, you out first. One that I'd absolutely love to see is Toxic Shock. Toxic Shock would be, um, okay, you guys are basically useless now. Uh, Toxic Shock would be one that would be fantastic because basically that would nullify most of the problematic rooms um, by just dealing a lot of damage early on in them. Um, yeah, it's either way, it's, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Right, let's careful of these guys. Don't know what you guys do, but I don't think you're that bad. Um, but yeah, all the champions... What, what would be really good is finding Golden Champion Belt, because that would mean we'd get a uh, pretty hefty damage up and there'd be no downsides. So, wouldn't we uh, have a great time then? Wouldn't we have a great time then? I still don't really know how to properly thumbnail. Um, don't know why, even know why I'm blowing that up, I'll be honest. Yeah, can't drop HP. I suppose it could have given a key or um, another bomb back or uh, small rock. So, I guess it was worth it. Not super good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need some really good shit to be able to get through the rooms in a timely manner and uh, also be able to survive. There is ways of healing. It's not like completely no health, um, but they're scarce. I believe getting a heart container does actually give you the heart container with uh, with it being full. Very bad start. Um, I believe um, getting placenta is one way that you can use to abuse the healing um and there's a few other ways here and there i'm sure there's gonna be some modded um items that are about that have the potential to heal us as well i'm sure that's a thing man that that that, that book i was talking about in a previous episode um where enemies that rub against rub up against the wall kind of bounce off the wall that's so annoying as for the question of the day, because we're doing the ultra hard challenge, what's something that you've done that's been ultra hard, whether it be gaming related or otherwise? It'd be interesting to hear uh, what what people's ultra hard versions of whatever have been, because I'm sure there's a very like varied, um, a very varied number of different answers. I'm sure that they're quite quite widespread. Right, move along move on back we'll try to find an item room obviously we don't have mapping so that makes things a little more difficult i'm just tracing my steps and going back all the way to the start here a little bit annoyed that this is a, a thingy room oh balls these guys are gonna be a pain in the ass also another thing that would be really really good is getting the wafer just so we take less damage from our champions because all champions do full heart damage um for the most part and um we have not that much HP to work with, so... Yeah, Ultra Hard is just one of those challenges that's... It's just mean. It's just plain mean. And there's not much you can do about it. It just is what it is. Luckily, there is a good amount of enemies that can't be champions, so... We are saved on that front. Uh, we get both our item rooms here. We don't know what we're getting. Vegemite is trash, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure Vegemite is trash. And then, Lost Contact's pretty decent. We do need Fire Rate to make it viable. Um, lost Contact is going to be able to allow us to protect ourselves. But if we don't have high Fire Rate, it's actually going to be more of a hindrance than anything else. Um, 
Anyways, good to see that we've got both of our item rooms already. I'm going to go all the way back the way I came. Um, and then go from there. So let's go this way this time. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, if, I can't remember exactly how Vegemite works. Um, I remember it being trash, but honestly, that was pretty sick. Did they change Vegemite? I swear last time I used it, it was trash. Maybe they changed it. It seems to do a lot of damage now, which I very much like. Also, maybe all the bosses aren't the blur. Is that April's Fools? Blue cap. Hey, we got the healing and everything there. Okay, fantastic stuff. Okay, Vegemite might be amazing. I might have been underrating it all this time. Uh, Devil Deal is a big no-go. More HP. Yes, please. We're praying and hoping to get an Angel Deal on the next floor, but considering it's going to be very, very hard for us to get Soul Hearts, it's not super likely to happen. Okay. I may have severely underrated Vegemite. <laughs> Can you fire a bomb over here, please? Okay. Thank you for confirming my suspicion that I'd get nothing there. You are a big boy. Wheel of Fortune is what it is. Yeah, okay. Vegemite's going to be kind of sick. I have severely underrated this item. It must have been changed from the last time I used it. Because I, I, I've just had this, like, constant nagging in my head that this item is terrible. And so far it is not proving... To be such. I'm going to go straight for the boss here to give myself the least chance of losing my angel deal. This is not a boss that I wanted to see. Okay, one of you's dead. Oh my god. It's beautiful. More HP. Smooth stone's pretty good. That's a damage and then damage to bosses that have under a certain amount of HP. Oh shit! Okay, I, I got really confused then, and then I realized that there's a, there's a tech pin in here. I'm very much not liking this situation. Dude. This is bollocks. Holy sugar tits. Fire rate there's amazing. We got an angel deal. White robe is actually pretty good. Actually, um, maybe it's not. Um, on hit, it gives us a chance to get an eternal heart, but I think it's an eternal heart drop. It doesn't go directly onto our health bar. That's, that's how, unfortunately, I think that's actually useless. Um, so far, things are going well, though. Let's go and find our item rooms. Honestly, Vegemite, you might be the one true, the one true savior of this run because this is. Just going alarmingly well. I'm still going to blow up Tinted Rocks in case we get Small Rock. Maybe they just don't drop anything. Maybe maybe there's like a chance they don't drop anything at all. And I'm just wasting my time here. But I'm going to pretend there is a chance I can get something out of it. Dude, that spider made a hell of a player then. A hell of a player. I forget what the little ghosts do apart from upchuck, but I don't want them doing it. But yeah, we've now got a sufficient amount of fire rate to make Lost Contact pretty decent. Lost Contact isn't the end-all be-all, though, obviously. It doesn't protect us at all against contact damage, and it can't destroy every shot. It can destroy a lot of them, but it's not going to destroy all of them. Two keys now, that's good. But it does mean that when there's an enemy like this that just fires slowly, we can 1v1 them pretty easily. Because we just line up perfectly with their shots and keep firing. And although they are destroying some of our shots, we hit more than they do. So, pretty good stuff. Troll Bomb's not going to do anything for us. Now, question. Can I just kill... Yes, I can just kill you straight through there. That's beautiful. Very nice. I think that's I think this uh, secret room directly above us. Uh, it's a gamble, but I'm gonna try it. It just looks very secret roomy to me. Unfortunately, not. I don't care about that too much. 
Okay. This is like not a great way to do this. Um, there you go. It worked. It worked. Here's one item room. We get broken shell, which does give us a burn heart. Nice, nice. I think, yeah, the the, the, the little bomb dude also uh, lost the burn heart already. That's fine. Um, the little the little bomb dude will respawn and, and kill stuff for us. We've got to be careful; he doesn't hurt us. But for the most part, he's pretty good. As you can see there, he can very very easily drop a bomb on us. I forgot we had a giga bomb. Ooh, smelts a random trinket onto us. This could be so bad, but I'm going to try it. Blessed Leaf is pretty good. Eden's Blessing, um, getting randomly. That's more fire rate ups. Magician here is po probably better. Okay, this is bad. What we need is we've lost Cork, or whatever it's called. The one that gives us a higher chance of, um, like, bigger creep. Oh, dude, I don't know how I didn't get hit all three of those times there. Right. I'm a bit confused on where I am now. All of that went a little bit awry. I, 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 I dropped that bomb and just kind of got very confused. Dude, bugger off. That was horrible of you. Okay, Vegemite does nothing to these guys. Okay. We've taken a good bit of very unnecessary damage here. I'm not very happy about that at all. I now don't know where I am whatsoever, which is not great. Gotta fight a bunch of these assholes as well. Luckily the bomb comes in clutch. Do not like these ghosty boys. Thank you very much. We did manage to find our item room. Dark Bum, yet again, completely fucking useless. He literally cannot do anything. Health cannot drop. He rolls items in the room into items from Devil or Angel Pools has a small chance to convert the item into a Holy Devilish Theme to Heart Chest. Okay, we'll take that for a, a, a boss room, maybe. Um, doo -doo -doo. Actually, no, boss rooms, we, we, we don't want to use it on boss rooms. Boss rooms are where we get our HP and fire it and potentially damage. Okay, so that's what happened there. Right, now we've got to make our way back to the boss, which I've completely lost. Um, I think we're going this way. Right. And this way, maybe? Oh, God. I hate, hate, hate not having mapping. It's just the worst. But there you go. We found it. It wasn't too bad. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. Little bit upset that I ended up getting hit that floor, but it's bound to happen from time to time. We can't really avoid it. Okay, Vegemite. Don't bother using Vegemite on rooms where it literally can't do anything. Okay, apparently these guys can't take creep damage either, so interesting. But you can. Only thing about Vegemite is it holds it above our head for, like, a ridiculous amount of time. So we kind of end up being idle, not being able to do anything for a little while after using it. Which I really don't like. Okay, that was good. Oh, dude, stop. He's back up. Dude's annoying the hell out of me. Not even a champion. He's just a really annoying enemy. Okay, we went this way, then... I forget what many of these enemies do. Oh, dude. I screwed myself so hard then. So hard. I just walked directly on top of the, um... On top of the webbing and slowed myself down.
Misprinted Joker. That's pretty good. We don't want to be getting hit anyways, so... Just let that do its job. There you go. Fuck. Yeah, what the fuck am I meant to do there? I proper backed myself into a corner there. Okay, so basically, unless we get some really good stuff from our boss fight, like in terms of healing, we're probably dead. It's just an inevitability at this point. I don't know if the creep will even hurt you, but... Gotta try. It's very, very hard to tell sometimes what enemies technically fly and technically don't fly. Okay, one of these guys is one of the ethereal ones, which is annoying. He won't die until everything else is dead. Stop you, stop. That bull to the shit entered this room and he immediately shot at me. That's just that's just horse shit. Why why are you allowed to do that? It was all going so well. I the, the problem is as well, this is a very good run. This is a very good run. Like in terms of the items that we've managed to get, so getting a winning run on this challenge is just gonna be so difficult. I just wish I had mapping so I could find out. Well, not mapping, but like the ability to see my map so I could more easily find my item rooms. Finding my item rooms is just atrocious right now. Bullshit room. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Holy fuck. I need to kite enemies into the creep. Luckily that actually worked there. A glass D6 that came out of nowhere. If we get a bad active, that's good. This needs to be a health up. It absolutely has to be. Laughing gas. It do it would have normally given us a soul heart, but I realize I missed an item room on this floor, but honestly, can't worry about that right now. Excuse me? For one, how did I only take half heart damage there? But two, what was that laser beam that that, that, that Mum showed off then? That was very confusing. Making sure she drops her foot in the creep here is like the only way to deal good damage to her. Oh, she got me. God damn it. Okay. We try again. We try again. This, this challenge on Fiend Folio, I didn't even think about how much harder it makes this challenge. At least it's not all blurts like I thought it was. That definitely cheers me up a little bit. Definitely cheers me up a little bit. On my, uh, on my last save file that I did, which is obviously a long time ago now, I actually beat this challenge on my third attempt, which I'm very happy about. Most people, it takes a lot longer than that. But yeah, Fiend Folio, I'm going to be really proud of myself if I can beat this challenge like this. That's a really bad place for a red poop there. Oh, can we stop it with the mini monsters? They're such annoying, difficult enemies. And this guy's one of the fucking pulsing green ones too, so we've got two more to fight. Especially this bloody room. Stay still oh my god at least the two more of them don't end up as champions either god damn just can't even there's just so many rocks in the way that i can't even fight them 
That's one item room at least. At least the Grey Champions actually have half HP. Like, as opposed to the regular versions, not the Champions. So they have like a quarter of the HP of Champions. It's great. Uh, Little Chest is pretty bad. But he could provide us with uh, trinkets that could save our life. So I won't judge too heavily. There you go. So we, we, you can still get drops from, um, dude, those little fucking sucky boys. Stop it. With your jumping little shit. Oh my god. I'm going to rage so hard at this challenge. I am. It's going to happen. I wonder how valuable shops are going to be. We're an item room down at the minute. Dude, don't use a spike block to push yourself into me. That's just rude. Rooms like this are just hectic. What do I even have to say here? Okay. We did get a trinket. It's not not one that I'm planning on ever using, but we did get a trinket. There's another item room. That's actually pretty good. Um, I believe it's like a small chance to instantly turn enemies into poop. I think. I'm not actually sure. I think I think we have a, a shot that can turn enemies instantly into poop. Okay, we definitely fart on death. Oh, you see, yeah, I fired one of those shots then there. Uh... Right. This way, this way, this way, this way. And we are good. Honestly, not entirely necessary, but pretty decent. Stop being a bugger. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck these fiend folio first floor bosses. Stop spawning things. Oh, leave it be, you stupid... Mm. Stop spawning things. You already have enough attacks, my guy. It is the first floor. Can't you just chill out? Fucking hell. Can't you just chill out? Why I, why I gotta deal with these mini fellas? Literally line him up for the red poop, and he just won't he won't take the bait. Jump into the red poop, my guy. Won't take the bait. Will not take the bait. Okay, killed both of those. That certainly solves part of my worries. Is this grey one just like unable to jump? I think he is, isn't he? All he do is upchuck. I got hit by that. Nice. Nice. Getting hit by Monstro. What am I? A four-year-old. Come on now. Ooh. Ooh. An empty heart container. How dare you treat me so kindly. An empty heart container. Hooray. Hooray. Oh no. Nah, this this one this one's over. We need a better start than that if this is actually gonna happen. I'm gonna try give it two more proper attempts. I wish my game would like restart runs properly. For some reason, over the past few weeks it's been really broken. Whenever I go to restart a run, it just takes like seven seconds. Eight seconds to like boot the run up and I, I don't know what's going on with it, I'll be honest. I really don't. I got rid of you good. I always find it funny when you, like, get one of those mini enemies and you, um... Yeah, that was nice. You get one of those mini enemies and, like, they have that champion effect where they, uh, tend to mush and reform themselves. But the mush that it spawns is bigger 
than the enemy that you killed. Okay. You having this champion effect is also a bit fucked. Actually, that wasn't so bad. I like the whiz shot, but on this run, it's just incompatible. It, it just does not work. Like, honestly, really what I should be doing is... Wait, what? Um, I should be restarting until I get a uh, normal basement. Burning basement or any other version, like cellar or whatnot, just ain't worth. Oh, good. Apparently, we also have the other curses as well. Do we just have every curse enabled? Is that how this works? Because that rock regained there, which I didn't know was plausible on this challenge. I didn't think that curse was enabled, but apparently it is. Or maybe it's just a chance for the other curses to also apply. Right, I might need to start doing restarts until I start in the starting room. But like I said, restart, yeah. Restarts just take so long. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, why did it take nine seconds to restart that? Just why? Time itself, that's actually pretty decent. We'll take that. Okay. Some rooms, it's just like, what are you meant to do? Yeah, time itself here gives us um, the potential to add piercing to an enemy and also double shots that pass through it, and that's pretty good. Don't like these bloody stupid ghosts and the rooms that are full of them for some reason. That is a very good trinket, but... It was reflected, so... No thanks. How to jump. Amazing. Book of Sin is decent, at least. And that gave us Bookworm. That first run was so good, man. Why'd the game have to do me dirty like that? The little spiders are fucking me right off right now. Okay. This isn't so bad. The health I lost there was, was terrible, but otherwise this isn't so bad. You're the blue champions. I need you to be... Oh, these fucking spiders! You crackhead! What is it doing? Crackhead spider! Piece of... Oh my god. Why is it doing the things like that in the way that it do? Bloody don't jump at me. You better bugger right off. There's more? Why couldn't this room just be what it was? Is there really any need, game? This room was already so much. Why do you have to make it more than it was? See what I mean? Fiendfolio is just not compatible with this challenge at all, is it? I, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. These fucking stupid ghosts. Oh my god. It can't be cellar. It can't be burning basement. We have to get a basement, and there has to be an item room on the first room. But 10 seconds of restart. Like, it's just not okay. Why does it take so long? What is the game doing? <laughs> it never used to do this. I think it's I think it's part of the epiphany mod, to be honest. It only seemed to start happening after that fact. Also, I have so many messages on Discord. What the hell? Um... Heck, right, yeah. No cellar, go away. Cellar isn't compatible. It just isn't. We can't start on the cellar. It needs to be basement. The spiders are just too much. 
Cellar again. No, go away. If we get a basement and the item room isn't there, just because of the long loading times, I will check the adjacent rooms. <gasps> oh. Don't know what that does. Welting sack. It's done something to our eyes, so I'm going to imagine it's a tear effect. So far, I've not seen anything happen, though, so maybe not. It's not an item I've seen before. Dude, dude. Love love the making enemies into champions thing for it. <laughs> not like we don't have, have enough of those already. Oh, boy. This is a trash room full of garbage people. What is this? Dude, what's a boy meant to do? Stop spawning things. It's not okay. I'm physically sweating. This room's, like, got me that bothered. Really? A room like this? Come on now, sitting above the rocks, fuck's sake. Who is, why are you allowed to get away with this? It should be criminal activity. Right, I need my other item room, unfortunately. I just do. Oh, bugger. I can't be getting hit twice. I can't be getting hit once in the first floor, never mind fucking twice. No, oh god. I'm fuck off, Zilla! I'm so stressed out right now. This challenge is gonna be the end of me. That item room's not here on the starting. Fucking not doing that room. What do you think this is? I'm just I'm just so annoyed I lost that first run. It was so good. Seller! Go! away. Nobody fucking has a cellar anymore. Why are you still here? Okay. Bollocks. This is not an easy room at all. Okay, we got rid of the, the, the little shits. Now we got to get rid of the big shits. Okay. Oh. One room down. These things are just as annoying as well. Give us like a quarter or something in that pot. Or don't. Pretty shit. Get away from those heads. <laughs> I just love the fact that there's so many heads about. I'm just going to pick up another one. I'm done with that one. On to the next one. I mean, that's not awful. It's not great, because it's going to be a while before we like get a substantial damage up from it. But it's not awful. What on the... What in the shit is that? What the fuck is this? What? What mod is that from? I have never seen such a thing in my life. What is that from? That was very cool, but... Sissy, okay... I mean, Sissy's cute, but not going to do much for us, I don't think. She can spawn us some spiders. That is true. She can charm some boys. That is also true. Mate, where's my small rock at? Mm. 
Where do you mean my small rock at? Oh god. Don't like the idea of this. At least not champions for some reason. 25% chance for a blue fly to turn into a locust of war. That sounds awesome, but we don't have any way of generating blue flies right now. But that does sound awesome. Honestly, Sissy's kind of crushing it. I'll be honest, I I badmouthed you, Sissy, but you've been proving to be quite useful thus far. I mean, you've charmed the boss already, which means it's instantly killing its own minions, which is, in my book, very awesome. Maybe I treated you too harshly. Old Bandage is unfortunately also awful. It's not only an empty heart container, but the hearts it normally drops, it can't. So, it's a bit of a wash on that one. Do you, know, do you know Charmed Hopper? If you'd like, get over near the bosses and do damage to them, that might be kind of useful. I don't like how shiny these monsters are. It freaks me out. They look like a shaved ball. With a face, obviously. Okay, this floor has gone well. I have to say, not super pumped about um, our prospects on the next floor, or the items that we got, but... Money equals power is potentially good. It's just not great yet. Okay, this is a room where I can take damage super easily. Can you back the fuck up? Thank you. Don't know what this guy does when he dies. Sure, we'll be excited to find out. Yeah, he explodes. Oh my god. It's enemies that aren't champions. How I long to see you. Still not a particularly easy room, but not hard either. It's just because they're skittish. Kitchishness of spiders annoys me. Oh god. Yeah, this guy's coming at us at too high a speed. Yeah, you you get back over there and, and kill your own kind. Don't be laying any of that bad juju on me. Ooh, that's a very good trinket. Yay, thank you. God. The en these enemies that, like, push towards you are really, like, kind of impossible to, like, deal with properly when they're champions, because they just have so much HP, so unless you have a lot of damage, they're really difficult. Luckily, this is a very long room, but had that been in a normal room, that guy would have definitely got to me. Do you get an item room here? That is actually fantastic. Okay, that could really turn the tide for us. Like, it's not insane, but that's really good. Because what that allows us to do is it allows us to let enemies kill each other and us not have to deal with it. Which is huge. Charm we're getting is also pretty good. I know I'm not getting health from these, but I've got to try for small rock. It's a very good item, but like this, this look, look at that. Get that on one of the enemies, and they all start going ham on each other. It lets us kind of slightly more control the room. Also, sissy charming stuff is a good part of that too. Really could use my other item room wherever it might be. Okay, you just kill each other, lovely. Okay. Is 
Our only issue is we're missing a lot of the shots, so it doesn't really help. There you go, they all just eat each other up. It's lovely. The only thing is as well, it doesn't really help on bosses. Pretty sure this is secret room, I'm gonna try it. I guess take the mini one to see what the effect is. Um, I technically took three puberty pills, so if you could give me my reward game, I'd be happy. Oh god, that was close. Okay, he's dead. Item room or item room, where are you? Rock flies, not too bad. Look at that, it's just, oh, it's amazing that we can have enemies not only take focus off of us, but deal enemies, de deal enemies, deal damage to each other. That's just fantastic for us. It's the, it's mainly the taking focus off us that I like, though. That's, that's the main chunk of it that's really good. This floor just feels like, oh, dude, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me with that shot? This floor, this floor feels like it's never going to end. I feel like I've been wandering around for 16 years. Why do you have to take away my mapping? It's just savage. Also, this enemy? No, thank you. Where am I going? I don't know. Just want out of this hellscape eventually. I've been this way. Guess the maze isn't helping. Here it is. Right. That is pretty bad. <laughs> it's not awful, but it's pretty bad. Okay, boss room. Where are you? I wonder. Do not like this. Good. Can you pop up somewhere a little more convenient, please? Thank you. Arms in the room with freezing. That's pretty good. Don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh my god, it's such a maze. Just let me out. Just wanna go. Let me out of here. So, Stranger Tractors can be bad in some regards, but good in others. Broken Mask, that's not gonna help. It did give us a half soul heart somehow, though. I'm not quite sure how that's possible, but it did. Not a big fan of your bouncy shots. wrong ways. Still haven't found where the boss might be yet. Seems like that's going to be a never-ending task. Maybe one day though, maybe one day. I went this way. I just... How have I not found the boss yet? Where is it? Actually, where is it? Feel like we've been everywhere. 
I guess it has to be back this way, but I don't know where. Oh, okay. Finally. I could gamble and try and play that chest to get more money back out of it, but I'll lose a lot of money if I'm wrong here. But I'm going to try it anyways. Not looking good. Okay. That was fine. Okay, annoying boss. Spawned a bunch of bats that were charmed. Fucking what? That was a bit crazy. He landed straight on me. I mean, I get that's the point of the attack, but I mean, like, he landed a lot quicker than I thought he would have. Oh, bugger! Fuck off! <laughs> get out of my face, you shithead! Thank you. Am I not just, just not going to get a HP up for this entire run? Also, the double baby plum fight? Thank you. We're in need of a really easy fight, so I bless you for that. The giant poop is actually pretty awesome. I'll say that. Although... It's only really going to drop us money. It can't drop us HP, so in that regard, not too useful. I could have got Plum Flute here, to be honest. Probably would have been a good idea. Rosary. Oh, it gave us the three soul hearts. What the fuck? Do I want Owl Feather? I feel like I'm more likely to get more damage out of Petrified Poop just because I can get more pennies from potential poops on the ground. Okay. The, the Rosary has somewhat reinvigorated me on this run. I did not know that the Rosary would actually give us the Soul Hearts. But that has, that has slightly changed my tune. Are you the last one? No, you are not. There is one over here, apparently. Okay, there you go. Oh, God. Oh, this could be good. Could get some extra bombs out of this guy. That could be quite nice. Yeah, there you go. A few extra bombs. Not great, but why not? Do not like that. I do not like these masked enemies either. Oh yeah, there was just no way I wasn't getting hit there. <laughs> these guys are atrocious. Okay. I'm liking everything killing each other. That is one thing that will always stay positive here. Ooh, now, how exactly do these bags work? Do they overwrite it? They don't. <laughs> Damn it. I was like, maybe there's a chance they, like, overwrite the effect and it's going to be good. I really should try and kill the Burn Lord dude before anything else, to be honest. There you go. Because these sweet rolls... Can be kind of annoying once they pop. Luckily, the, the things inside them can't be champions. But there's still a lot of them. We have found the boss. Okay. Extra bomb. Lovely. Oh, balls to the fucking balls. This is an awful, 
And I mean awful room to have one of these dudes chasing us. I had to use a bomb to reveal their uh, fleshy insides. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad. Don't know what that does, but we got Spider Baby, which means Arachna has been unlocked, baby. Arachna has been unlocked. Awesome. I know this is on a challenge run, so it technically doesn't count. I'm going to count it anyways. That's a hard enough achievement to get, so... Spider Baby achievement. It's done. Um... What's going on here exactly? I'm, com I'm a bit confused. Oh, I've got the red dude. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Good. That gives us the green one. Really horrible rune. That was a really horrible room. Right, the minute we're looking for our other um, item room. Wherever that could be. Lucky Penny's pretty good. That doesn't matter to us. Get out of here with your burn lobbing. Get out of here with that. Good. I guess I could get some cards out of this. Why not try it? Or I get some limestone belt boys, which could be pretty useful as well, I guess. Yeah, getting more and more of the... Uh, Rotten Tomato effect going is going to be good for us. More money, lovely. Only really a little bit of damage, but it's something. These guys drop webbing on the floor, so they're a bit of a pain. Goddamn, stop dragging my key away. If these guys get dragged around like crazy by uh, the strange attractor, so be careful around these guys. Golden key? Probably not that useful, but I guess we have it now. Okay, we've got to be getting close to the item room. I feel like we've been almost everywhere on this floor. But again, XL floors, not having mapping, you just never know. Just never know. Right now, I don't need that key. We have flight now. Our bodies just disappeared for some reason. Okay, um, this seems to be a regular room with two monsters in it, so not a big fan of that. Oh no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dingle and a monster. What? Why? Why'd you throw that there? Did you have to? Oh, there's creep there too? Okay. This room has ruined me. I'm in financial ruin now. Did not appreciate that room. One bit. Where is the item room? It's just more rooms that lead to more rooms that lead to more rooms. I've been here before. Where? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Where am I going? It just doesn't make sense. I feel like I've been everywhere. Just that one offshoot that I'm missing. Came here. This is where I came first. Went through here. Nothing there. I've been on this floor for so long. Holy shit. Not passing through there again. Thank you very much. Went through this way. Did we go here? We went here. We went up this way. This led to this. This into this. Then we went here. And there was nothing here. So we went this way. Did we go left here? We did. Oh, there's a secret room there. Oh, we already went in that, didn't we? Ugh. Guess the maze isn't helping either. It's getting, making me confused. All oh, right, okay. Nope, that's the boss. Where the fuck haven't we been? 
Where the shitting hell's the other item room? It just keeps going. Where is it that we haven't been? Tell me. It must be somewhere over here. Okay, it is good. There's also an awful room. Very hard for us to deal damage with this guy without us getting hit. Yeah, that's better. Oh no, I can't quite hit him from this angle, so that's lovely. Dude, dude, that enemy wouldn't fucking die. Is this the Holy Land? Nope, still no item, still no item room. <gasps> it's here! We finally found it! And we did all that for- honestly, Chain Spike is pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm relatively happy with that. I need to remember that if the item's really bad, I think I can dice shard it just as I pick it up. I can't remember if you can do that or not. I'm not sure. Right, now we've got to find our way back to the boss, which is just as big of a task. So I don't know. At all. It's, it's somewhere up this way. And then left, I think. And then left, I think. And then up, I think. I just went through this room. Okay. Why am I getting double trouble bosses? Or triple trouble as this one is. What the fuck even hit me then? I realise it was probably a tear from the boss, but I did not see it. Right, I need something that's going to give me a lot of health here somehow. Right. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so let's, let's, just, let's just take a look at this. I needed some HP just before the mum fight. So what did the game do for me? It gave me an empty heart container and and removed one full red heart just 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 in case just in case i wasn't depressed enough great now we have to fight mum without getting hit a single time which is not all that bad but i'm not very smart i don't think i can do that And the, the, the bloody red line there scares me. I'm unsure as to what it means. Round of applause for bacon grease. Well done. Whenever I feel like I want to punish myself, we will return to this challenge. I'm honestly feeling like we should just keep playing it until we beat it, but I feel like that might get a bit boring. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Um, it would be interesting, but it's going to be really, really rough. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.